皆さん、マイロー、ニューヨークでビールのむりやってるよしです。Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshi. アビアのむりや、in New York. Today, I'm going to introduce a b i a Today's b i a is. Here it is. Today I'm introducing Kagua Rouge.、And、this beer is a little bit weird because、uh, technically, this is Japanese craft beer from Tokyo by a Far East Brewing Company. However, this beer is brewed in Belgium. So, what they do is they bring the、uh, Japanese like,、uh, ingredients, which,、uh, such as like,、uh, yuzu or sancho, and they brew their beer in、uh, Belgium. And I have introduced this beer a、like, long time ago, maybe two years ago.、Uh, but,、uh, you know, I just want to refresh my memories, and、uh, it's been two years. So, I mean, I think it's a good time to like,、uh, review this beer again. There are three、uh, Kagawa series this is a Rouge, and another one is a、uh, uh, Blanc. And another one is Saison. I will introduce、uh, two of them later on. Yeah, this is one of very famous Japanese craft beer. and They came to New-, New York City quite a long time ago, so a lot of people know about this beer. Let's do it! Okay, let's drink. Color is dark,、uh, copper color, and aroma is.、Mm, it has notes of sancho pepper, yuzu, a little bit citrus flavor, a little malty flavor too. And the form is very delicate, nice small bubbles, and it looks. And then I forgot to mention this actually, this beer is a bottle condition, so、uh, it has a kind of sediment. I poured everything.、Uh, it depends on you, but some people don't like a sediment, but I love sediment, so I poured everything. Sediment is the umami of the beer, so I usually pour it. So, let's get it. Kampai. Mm, it is delicious. So, this beer has like a two faces. One is like a, like a, like a very Belgian type of、uh, dark ale, like you know, the beer, plus Japanese、uh, flavor, such as Sancho and the Yuzu. They put together very well, and then it has great balance between them. None of them is like overpowering. It's, it's quite nice, dark, kind of strong、uh, Japanese Sancho and the Yuzu ale. That's how I would describe this beer. And,、uh, Alcohol percentage is actually a little bit higher. Yeah, 8%. So a little bit higher than the Japanese、uh, regular beer. The reason Far East Brewing Company、uh, brewed this beer was so a long time ago, most of the Japanese beer is like a lager, which is Pilsner, like Sapporo, Asahi, Kirin, Orion. Those are the, you know, like a full dominant、uh, the beer company in Japan. I mean, it's been like that. And then, I mean, now it's getting changed little by little. When they started brewing a beer, I think they didn't have any like a good ale beers can go well with the food, Japanese food. So that was the, the main reason that they made this beer actually. And I, I think this beer can go well with the Japanese foods, but I don't think this beer can go well with like a sushi or a sashimi. Well, it depends on you, but personally, I love d r i n k this beer with a little bit like a heavy stuff, like i z a k a y a food, like you know, yakitori or like you know, karaage or kakuni or sukiyaki,、uh, yakisoba, or those kind of like a little bit like a, a, a rich flavored food. I think that is the best、uh, the pairing with this beer. That's my opinion. And、uh, if you don't like this kind of dark and rich flavored beer,、uh, maybe you should go to the、uh, other, you know, Blanc or like a Saison. It is bottle conditioned, so it's yeast still alive, and then, you know, the aroma is great, and,、uh, you know, flavor is 
great and beautiful beer. So uh, Izakaya Juraku has more than like a 60 kinds of Japanese craft beer and also the um, they have cup sake, bottle sake, wine, yuzu slushy, chuhai with the uh, uh, ichiko and also the milkshake. So they have a lot of like interesting drinks. So uh, please come down to the Izakaya Juraku. This was Kagawa Rouge. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Yoshi. Happy ending. See you soon.